Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Murua o mato hara, me mato hoki e muru nei, i o te hunga e hara ana kia mato. Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on Friday. Our call to worship. Never forget to show kindness, to share what you have with others. These are the sacrifices which God approves. Jesus, you are the good shepherd. You are willing to die for the sheep. You are the good shepherd. As the Father knows you and you know the Father, in the same way you know your sheep and your sheep know you, you are willing to die for us. The Father loves you because you are willing to give your life. No one takes your life from you. You give it up of your own free will. You are the Good Shepherd. Jesus is the Good Shepherd who understands our frailty and knows each one of us by name. When we were still helpless, Christ died for the wicked at the time God chose. One of us might dare to die for someone good. But now we see God's love. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. God rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us safe into the kingdom of his dear Son, by whom we are set free and our sins are forgiven. So we rejoice in the hope we have of sharing in God's glory. By the Holy Spirit, God has poured into our hearts the love of Christ. Our reading today is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 6, beginning at verse 16. Jesus walks on the water. When evening came, his disciples went down to the sea, got into a boat and started across the sea to Capernaum. It was now dark and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea became rough because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boat, and they were terrified. But he said to them, It is I, do not be afraid. Then they wanted to take him into the boat, and immediately the boat reached the land toward which they were going. The next day, the crowd that had stayed on the other side of the sea saw that there had only been one boat there. They also saw that Jesus had not got into the boat with the disciples, but that his disciples had gone away alone. Then some boats from Tiberias came near the place where they had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. So when the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into the boats and went to Capernaum looking for Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, Very truly I tell you, you were looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but the food that endures for eternal life which the Son of Man will give you, for it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. So we pause for a moment to reflect on God's word to us today. we come to a time of prayer. We give thanks that God hears those who cry out to him, that he upholds all those who fall and lifts up all those that are bowed down. God of love, you satisfy our deepest needs. You feed us with the bread of heaven. 
would you help us today not to seek after those things which would satisfy our sinful nature, but to seek after you in spirit and in truth, longing for you to fulfill our deepest needs and desires. And so we pray to the God of love, hear the cry of those who yearn for love today. We pray for all who are fractured and broken, for homes where there is discord. We pray for all those who are neglected, all those who are alone and isolated all who feel unwanted. God of love, hear our prayer. God of justice, hear our cry for those who seek for justice. We pray for all those who yearn for change. For the persecuted, those who are oppressed and exploited, those who are ill-treated, those who have no power to affect their state. God of justice, hear our prayer. God of peace, hear the cries of those who yearn for peace this day. Peace in battle zones. Peace in hearts and homes. We pray for all those who are frightened all who are gripped with anxiety, all those who live in terror and fear. God of peace, hear our prayer. God of healing, hear the cry of all those who yearn for healing. for physical and spiritual wholeness, for all those who are in pain, all those who are weakened, sick, in mind, body or spirit, all those who are depressed. God of healing, hear our prayer. God of mercy, hear the cry of all those who yearn for mercy. We pray, Lord, for a deeper conviction of our own need for your grace. And we pray for those who are contrite and humble, all those who bow down in the face of your righteousness and cry out for mercy. Would you give us eyes of compassion for one another this day. God of mercy, hear our prayer. The psalmist writes, I love the Lord for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy because he turned his ear to me. I will call on him as long as I live. 
And so in the silence, we cry out to God for those needs which are unspoken. Our Father, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. E to mato matua, mirua o mato hara, me mato hoki e miru nei o te hunga e hara ana kia mato. Saviour, hanging on the cross, declaring God's love to us, you are forgiveness. Besides you hangs a thief. Beneath you waits Mary the forgiven, and all around watch those many people to whom you give new life and hope. To us you give new life and hope. Forgiven sinners become your body and your church. May the reconciliation we share bring your gospel to all the world. Eternal God, by your power we are created and by your love we are redeemed. Guide and strengthen us by your spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Jesus, you knew rejection and disappointment. Help us if our work seems distasteful Help us to decide what best to do, what next to do, or what to do at all. Give us courage and cheerfulness to go the second mile and all the miles ahead. Amen. So today may you know the peace of God, the love of God, the justice of God, the healing and the mercy of God. Go well.